Good morning, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Good morning. This is my blog in English, okay? Because I'm supposed to do it on Wednesday. Gabby, good morning, but I won't be able to do it tomorrow. So we're blogging right now because it, it, this is better than nothing. So, uh, Gabby, yes, we are here. Great, Gabby. Oh, awesome. Great, 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 great. I'm so happy. So remember, we are going to be taping this video in my YouTube channel. So we are in YouTube. So today I have a few things that I'd like to talk about. Um, hi, Maria. Hi, TikTok. Let me take a few seconds, 30 seconds, and saying hi. And you know, once, uh, once I start talking, I won't stop until I finish with the thought. And then that way you can, you know, the first 30 minutes, you can go to the YouTube channel and watch the video again, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do so it doesn't get boring for people who don't like, you know, they have more um, limited amount of time. Let me calm down because you know what happened when I do this, I love it so much. This is my life. This is not what I do. This is what I am. So it, I get so excited and I get so pumped and I like, look, <laughs> and I haven't worked out today because tomorrow I'm going to be crushing my shoulders and my back. So it's like today I sort of kind of taking it easy. But a few things that I want to talk about. Christina, hi, my darling. Christina, good morning. So I'm going to be, what I'm talking about today is in my book number two. And if you have my book, so if you have your book number two, please get it. Um, I'll take it, bring it up so we can go together through book number two, because I have many things to share with you that, that we're talking about today is about keep pushing. And I'm going to tell you a vignette about keep pushing so it will show you many, many reasons why never, ever, ever, ever give up. Because there is that this person, this woman or this guy, you can take her any gender that you want, want, let me calm down so I can pronounce my words correctly. <laughs> number, one, number one, we're gonna have fun, okay? I love making fun of myself. I love enjoying myself. So this, this guy, let's say, this guy started praying and he asking God to fulfill some of, some of his goals and his dreams. So God, the Lord, says to this person, you see this big rock? There's a huge rock. And the, the, God says to the guy, to the person, the only thing you have to do is to keep pushing. Keep pushing. It was a huge, huge rock. So the guy keep pushing and pushing and the days go by and he's still pushing and the, the month and the years go by. And so one time he just got exhausted, probably like many people, like many of us, we get tired of pushing and doing and we never see the result that we want and we feel like I'm not getting where I want to go. I'm, you know, what's going on? What's happening with my life? Why is it not working the way I, I thought in my head that it's supposed to work and so on? So he finally comes back to the rock and to God. And he said, you know what, God? I've been pushing this rock since you told me and have never moved. So I haven't done anything to accomplish what I want. And God responded to this guy. The only thing I ask you was to push the rock. I didn't ask you to move the rock. I will do the moving. So sometimes and sometimes in life, we feel that because the rock is not moving, I'm not achieving the thing that I want to achieve. So the only thing we have to do is to keep on pushing. So we give up. And the point that we're talking about today is about never, ever giving up. Let me tell you another personal vignette. And just that happened to me in the last few weeks, okay? 
And you know that I've been competing in bodybuilding since 2005. And I always compete in the MPC, which they don't have natural shows. So they, they, you know, they don't test for drugs or anything like that. But that never bothered me because number one, I do the bodybuilding because number one, I love the sport. Number two, I love taking care of my health. And number three, all the benefits that I get from bodybuilding. Or you don't have to do bodybuilding, you only have to lift weight. Just make sure that in your daily program, you have the, the segment in your workout that you lift weight. Okay, It's very important, very powerful for women, especially for women, that you really have to dedicate part of your workout to lifting weight. So if I go to the nationals, I'm competing with women that are three times my size. I mean, huge. So, but that never bothers me for the reasons I just told you. So, and it's always, sometimes you felt the frustration that you like to compete at the same plane, at the same le plane level, you know, the same, you're competing with people like, like at the same level that you are in the sense of uh, supplements and things like that. So uh, they just came out last week, I mean, a few weeks ago, well, they did it last year. And now they're going to do it this year. They're going to, they have a nat natural shows. So I'm going to be competing in six weeks. I'm going to be competing in May 5th in a natural show. Second year that they're holding that show here in Florida. So what, why do I, am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this story for the following. Most people will quit because they feel, well, I'm competing with people that are, are doing this and I'm do doing that. That's not your problem. Well, I'm competing, you know, no, 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 whatever. I didn't look at that from that perspective. I just wanted to do my thing. And I thank God I always place. I always win. I always never came out of my, any competition without a trophy and so on. So, and so on. So the issue is that if I were really giving up, giving up, because all the reasons I can come up with, I will never have the opportunity that I have within the next few weeks to compete in a natural show. So you keep on pushing. And the reason I, I told you that story about the rock is because God only asks you or life, life, God, you call it anything you want, is to keep on pushing. And, so, and then we push and we push. I've been pushing this rock for 17 years, 17 years that I, it will be beautiful. You know, in my head, it would be beautiful to have natural competitions. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm competing with people my size because we don't, we don't do supplements and we don't do hormonal manipulation and we don't do the things, which I don't have any problem with it. You can do anything you want. I mean, just your life. I don't get into somebody else's life because I don't know, I don't allow anybody to get into mine. I and mean, somebody leave me, even in the in, in social media, somebody there to leave me a negative comment. That person is blocks. Bye-bye, sayonara, ta-ta. Have a great have a great life. See you later. So, and that is the, the beautiful thing uh, is that in this book, I I share with you all the reasons that you have to keep on going, that you never give up, but you have to keep on learning. You have to keep having a clear vision of what is your purpose and, and what is it that you're doing and why, why you are doing. Because sometimes we do things, when you do things for that you, you, you're not doing it because you want to do it, you know, you're doing it because it's a trend. It's trendy and it's a thing to do and it's the diet to do and all that kind of stuff. When you go in that direction, when you take that path, you will always be confused. You will always be looking for something else. You will always, you never had a personal satisfaction that is being honest and being faithful to you. That is, the, the, you know, like I said in one of my affirmations, your primary responsibility is for your own growth and well-being. That's your primary responsibility. When you have a, you have a clear in your head, you don't have two conflicting thoughts in your head. Oh, if I do it, I don't do it. I do it. Then you will become totally um, an unbalanced person. You will be that type of person that has that sense of balance 
And uh, I'm just looking here for Raquel. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lisa, Edith. Yes. Okay. So in my in this book, so I'm I'm talking about the reason to keep pushing, and 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 I know sometimes life gets tough. I mean, it's life. You know, I don't like to use that the life get tough. We tough. You know, when and, and how do you get how do you get a strength? How do you get a power? How do you get a determination? How do you don't give up even though the circumstances around you. Are, it's like oh my god! I walk in, you know, when I walk in a, in a, in, the, in the nationals, I ask myself, I'm in, in the elevator with the other competitor with these women, and I look at myself, say, what am I doing here? You know, because I'm the skinny one, I'm a skinny mini, in, comp in comparison. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you know you're not doing anything in this life because you are looking to be better than anybody else but yourself. You're not comparing yourself with anybody else, but with the, your best version, the best, best person that you can be today. And the, you, you need to find the strength. You need to find the power. You need to find the determination. You need to find the clarity. You need to find the contentment in doing and what you are doing today. You are happy with it. You know, and that's when you live life to the fullest, when every single day you find a sense of happiness, that sense of contentment, that, that sense of vision, you know, because in my case, I ask God, okay, I've done everything. I am from the point of view of the natural, the, the, the humanity, the human, the, the thing that I supposed to do during my lifetime, I'm 77 years old. So I have done all the things that I supposed to do in reference to my education, to uh, having my children, to the marriage, all the things that society has implemented for us to do. I'm, I, I have done all that. So I feel like, okay, what am I doing now? What am I doing with my life now? And it's amazing. It's, you know what amazed me? The beauty for the power, the, the essence of life, the, uh, the beauty of life, is that I didn't know that they were going to come out with a natural show, you know? So I can go, if I compete in May 5th, I then I can compete in another competition that this, the same the same natural shows we put on in Virginia, let me come down, in Virginia, in which you can become a pro or you're qualifying to become a pro. And from being a pro, you can go into the natural Olympia. The Olympia, they have the bodybuilding, the Olympian bodybuilding for, you know, you've seen the Olympian bodybuilding, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but now they will have the Olympian at the natural. And I looked at it and immediately when I saw the video, I sent it to my coach because I saw myself that I can do it. And it will be a mind blower if I compete, you know, not that if, I will compete May 5th. I mean, I'm five weeks away from my competition. So, uh, then I continued go the following competition in Virginia and then the following competition and then going to the Olympia. And because I'm a natural, of course, in the Olympia, you find people from all over the world. But the, I have the opportunity. I have a possibility to become an Olympian at the age of 78. Because I'm 77 now, right? So I imagine the Olympia will be the following year. I don't know. I'm making this up right now. But the, my point with all this is the possibilities. Think about, about if I will, if I stop competing, because people will say, well, for how long are you going to compete? Because people ask me that. For how long are you going to compete? I'm still studying. I'm, I don't think about for how long I'm going to compete because I feel I just starting competing. I don't, it doesn't feel to me that I'm been competing for 17 years or 18 years by now. So it's just this amazing, this amazing power of life when you really commit, com commit, let me come down, commit yourself to your personal development, your body, your mind, your spirit, your goals, your vision. God has the vision. I didn't know that. And I'm they, I, when I saw that last week, because I think the, 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 the promoter sent the video last week, and when I saw it, it was this flash. I said, oh my God, this is probably what you have for me in mind. Be because the promoter also invited me to do the show because you know what? 
I, I usually start competing in June, and then he brought to my attention this competition because the promoters know that I'm a natural competitor. I mean, you can see the difference between me and the and the rest of the, my competitors. Very few that you can see, you know. Anyway, but that's not not that's none of our business. But the thing is that. And I remember, I'm, I, I, that, and this is another thing that on life, you, you just keep pushing, baby. Baby, just keep pushing, don't give up. In the beginning, in social media, in the beginning, no, now, people know better now, I think, oh, I don't have those, these negative naysayers. Praise the Lord, thank you, baby Jesus. In the beginning, they will say, no, she's not natural. She's not natural. She has to, and they will put like an, a, a, a syringe, an injection thing. Like, I don't even know how to say it because I don't use this stuff. But anyway, so the insinuation is that I didn't, I didn't look the way I look because of my hard work. No, it's because I'm doing something else, because I'm doing drugs, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And very few, never, I never bother with it. You know why? Because when you know, when you know you're pushing and you know you're pushing the right direction, you don't bother with the negativity. You know, you don't bother with the naysayers. The beautiful thing is that it, and when you, mira, and this is the thing, when you stay in your, in, in your, in your, in your, thing when you don't walk out into the nastiness the negativity the defense the being offended don't be offended about anything don't be offended about anything now imagine if this naysayer which i don't I probably won't see it they won't see it i'm competing in a natural show which time has taken time will prove that i'm a natural one for those who think that it's impossible to do what I'm doing at my age in a natural way, in such a natural way that I don't take protein drinks, I don't take vitamins, I don't take any type of supplements. Every single day I get a tech or, a, or a, somebody asking me the question, oh, you take creatine? I don't take creatine, I don't take BCG, but ABC, TCS. <laughs> I don't. Why? And for, they didn't work for me. I mean, I, yeah, my body has had a negative reaction to the supplements, the proteins and all this stuff that I will take in the beginning because when, in the beginning, what you do, you start doing what everybody else is doing. And I did that in bodybuilding because everybody is taking this and this and this and this. And I started too. And number one, I got, my stomach got inflammation in my stomach. My stomach hurt. I couldn't, I, I would walk like that. The protein made me bloated. I got bloated. Uh, I didn't see any 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 benefits at, in the gym. When I went to the gym, I didn't see any, oh, I have my energy, I have my power. You know what? I get my energy drink for my workout? Espresso. E espresso. I take three or two shots of espresso with no regular coffee, and I ask them to make give me a black eye with three espresso, a little sugar, a little half and half, gym time, pow, I get my energy there, okay? I get my energy, look at those muscles. <laughs> yes, baby, all natural, all natural, okay? So, in, in my, in this book, then, I, if you don't have this book, I will highly recommend you this book, this book. Eva, hola, Josefi, hola, mi cielo. Get book number two. This is book number two. We got book number one, two, three, four, five. I'm working in number six. Because in this book, you will find all the, 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 the how to, the why to, the what is it? How do you get a good work, a, a good um, coach? Uh, what do I, why do we need to keep on pushing? If you want to, to find out more about what we're talking today, about why it's so important to keep on pushing, you find it right here in this book. And another, um, so I, okay, so one of the things that we have here learning, so one, this, this is, the, this is a, it's a, it's a lifelong learning. Let me calm down again. Let me calm down and I take a shot. <laughs> Ah, oh, aprendiendo inglés, Salomé. Excelente, my darling. I see it. And this is what this book is about. This book is about your cognitive power. This book is about cognitive power. Why? Why do you have to keep on learning? 
Why do you have to keep on pushing? Why do you have to keep always, 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 every single day to be your best? Every single day to look your best, to do your best and to look your best every single day. That idea that I have to give up, that idea that I will look for excuses. Listen, if I wouldn't look for excuses in my whole life, I will never ever be here. And for people who doesn't know, in book number one, you find my, my story. How did I get here? And it's just because I never, ever, ever, ever felt like a victim. Although the circumstances around me were not the perfect ones, and the, the, based on the circumstances around me, I will be dead by now. I will never be here. I will never be doing what I'm doing. I will never have written my books. I will never compete in bodybuilding. I will never came here to go to school. I will never gotten my master's degree. I will never gotten my doctor's degree. I will never be going to this beautiful country, USA. I will never be an American Tala. I will, talent. I will never have been uh, Steve Harvey. I have never been done, done all the all the programs on Telemundo, Univision, and the Latin American uh, networks. So, wow! <laughs> so I wanted to connect with you today because I know we we I didn't do last Wednesday. But you gotta stay flexible with me, okay? You have to like the video, follow me, so you get notification when I'm going live. Why? Because you know the way I work. I work by the spirit. I work. I try to keep the 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 schedule in the sense of with, with you guys. But I have to come and talk to you and share things with you that are coming that are actual that I live it. It's happening now. I don't want to talk. I only use the, my past as a point of reference, as a point of encouragement, as a point that yes, we can do it because I did it before I can do it now. And this is the beautiful thing. This is what I call the flash, the flashback technique. The flashback te technique for me, let me come down again. <laughs> I'm on fire. The flashback technique for me <laughs> is that you look back into your past and you say you see you did it i done it see if you did it before you can do it now and all of us had this flash that had experience that we have done it before if you did it before you can do you can do it now so you find all that and this amazing beautiful easy easy my books are very easy to read very simple right to the point. I don't go around and giving you story, biography from here, biography from there. I give you the point. Boom, 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 boom. Pow, 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 pow. Okay. Let me see if I have anything else where I find the book. Oh, great, great. The book, my books are in Amazon. Also, you can go to my website, Dr. Josefina, and you find the link that will take you to Amazon and you get the books that way. You can go to my website, Dr. Josefina, or directly to Amazon. Another thing that you will find in my website and my CDs, my, uh, my, all my affirmations, my affirmation CD, all the, uh, the CDs that are you have, I have, I have amazing CDs in, um, in my website and you can download them for $10, very inexpensive. And then what are the benefits of the CD? Because in the CD, you find the mind is designed for success. That CD talks about that you, whether you, whether you, you already had the equipment to be a successful, awesome, fabulous, fantastic, super powerful person. It's already within you. The mind is designed for success, success. And that is not me saying it. Number one, you get it from, from, from the Bible. You get it from God. You got the, it, it, I can go into that at, in a deep way. So you, the mind is designed for success. The point here is that already within you, you have what, you, what it takes to be successful. But what we have to access. Those, that technique, we have to access it. We have to learn how to use the equipment that we already have. Listen, you have muscle, but if you don't train your muscle, 
like this, you lose your muscles, okay? The same thing with the muscle and your mind. If you don't train your mind, if you don't know how the mind works, if you don't start utilizing because in your mind, you have everything. You have the conscious, the subconscious, and the creative subconscious. And if you, I don't know if I can go into that right now, but maybe in another, in another blog, we talk about how the mind works. Then you're going to have another CD that you find, the affirmation CD. And the affirmation CD is I have to. Why? Because I sometimes I post here in TikTok and in Instagram affirmations. And then you find all of my affirmations in that CD affirmation in my website, only $10. Only $10 and you have the most amazing CD to retrain your subconscious mind. And that's, an, that's another lecture. So... I'm so excited. I'm going to stop, okay, and answer, look at your questions, and you guys tell me what do you want for the, the next 15, we have 15 minutes left, and let me know what you want to, you have a question. Vibrant and NEA, Josefina Monasterio. Yeah, this is the, this is the Vibrant and NEA, let me go back here. This is book number one, this is book number one, amazing, this is, this is the foundation. This is, this is where you're going to build the, the, the house. You have to build, you have to have a foundation to build your house. So the foundation must be a rock. You want to build your house in a rock, okay? You don't want to build your house in the sand. And you know why you don't build the house in the sand. So this here is the rock. Then you have book number two. And this is the book that we're talking about today. Uh, they, they keep on pushing. Keep, uh, keep pushing, keep learning, keep becoming your best. Because this is one of my philosophies also. It's like if you are not improving every single day, if you're not getting better every single day, you're getting worse. Okay? People think, oh, I'm just going to maintain. You never maintain. you either getting better or you're getting worse. So your job every single day is to aim, to push, to keep pushing to get better, to keep pushing to get better. This is book number three. This is an amazing book because this book is about you uh, getting to know yourself, knowing yourself. Number one, the relationship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you have with God, and then the relationship you, that you want to have with the whole universe, it will be awesome. Why? Because you have a good relationship with you and you have a good relationship with God. As within, so without. You know, whatever is within you, it's going to come out of you. You know, my coach started, uh, started laughing yesterday because I said to my coach yesterday, I say, I do the workout and God does the work in. You know, I'm working out and God works within me. Work, works in. So you have this kind of mentality. And when you, you think about, I do the workout and God works, do, does the work in. So if God doing the working in me, I'm going to be powerful. I'm going to be indestructible. I'm going to be amazing. I'm going to be fabulous. A fabulous for me, for me, that you feel great, that you feel good about yourself, that you feel fabulous about yourself, that you're happy with yourself, that you're doing the thing that you wanted to do for you, with yourself. And you know that you are not alone. I've never been alone through this journey. 77 years, and I've never been alone. All along the path, God has held my hand, and I have guided me. Sometimes I didn't have a clue. But now I'm totally aware of this energy, this power, the guidance, the advice, the this is how, this is the way, walk in it and listening to that advice. Oh man, it's so amazing. And then we got book number four. And this is book because people you to ask me all the, all the time, how to get started changing your life. And they basically in this book, you start from where you are. Where do you begin? Where do you begin? And sometimes we don't begin because we don't know how. And that one of the things when people write to me, one the main thing I, I said, how do I begin? Start walking. Start walking. Start, let's start from where we are. Let's start where I'm at. Whatever you have, this is what we're gonna work on. And then, of course, this is book number five, and this book is about vibrant destiny. And this is where I'm at right now. This is what I'm living my life right now. It's a vibrant destiny. I don't know what's going to happen, and I, but I'm excited. Though I don't know if this happens to you. Then you have this sense of urgency. 
a sense of happiness and you don't know why? Did that happen to you? Buenos días, hermosa. Gracias, mi cielo, Lamborghini. Doesn't that happen to you? I want to hear from you guys. Does it happen to you that you have a sense of happiness, a sense of urgency, that something is happening, that something has to be done, but you don't know what? I think I know what now for me. I think that now for me is the dream, that the dream, the possibility of going to the natural Olympian bodybuilding competition. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Eva, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Okay, we're stopping here and we uh, see if I have any, any question. Me fascina ver toda la sabiduría que comparte. Oh, my, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, any questions, anything that you want me to address or shall we just say goodbye? Ah, Vicky. You motivate me a lot. They say you, sir. Hello. Oh, yes, yes, because I needed to do the English uh, blog. What do you eat? Question number two. Uh, okay, that also, that question you find it in book number two. And for people who want to know what I eat, it's right here in book number two, okay? And it's in page, uh, page, preparing your page six, page six. You find all the, what I eat in book numbers in, in page, page six. And let me tell you one thing. What do I eat? I eat natural, which I had started on preparing sooner to be with you on that stage. You are amazing. Karen. Karen, you can you can still do it. Okay, so uh, I you guys know that number one, I don't do any diet. I don't stay away. I don't eat any processed food. I don't eat any. Uh, I don't. I eat. I don't know how to explain this. But I, I, you ever eat snack like a cookie? No, no. The question is, do I eat a cookie? No, no, no. Because no. Because I, lo I used to eat cookies before bodybuilding, I used to eat a bag of cookies. I mean, no one cookie, five cookies, six cookies. I mean, I was a, a really sugar addict. No addict, I just ate it. <laughs> but um, no, I had no, I had no, it, it, because what happened is the following. When you, when you work hard on your body and you see the result, you see how you're looking, it will take me a lot of thoughts to put something in my body. Plant-based, no, I had, I had chicken, I had a steak, especially now in the next few weeks because I'm competing, my body craves meat. And this is another thing, I listen, I listen to my body. I'm like, just in these next weeks, especially the last week before competition, my body craves meat. So I eat meat, I eat chicken, sometimes fish. I don't, I'm not crazy about fish because it's not very satisfying for me. I eat um, eggs, absolutely eggs every single day. Um, so my protein is animal protein. And those are the one. The chicken is number one for me. The thing that works for me beautifully. Amazing. It's a, the type of meat that agrees with my body. My body likes it. And I cook the chicken in five million way, millions of way that never taste the same. I'm an expert in chicken. And I, you know, you know, I don't have recipes. You know why? Because I quit, I cook by instant. I get a thing and I start boom, 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 and I create a dish. And it's every single dish tastes to me different. But a very creative in the sense of cooking, and that's why somebody has to be right next to me taping it for to get a recipe. Because I don't have somebody who's gonna be next to me when I'm cooking, and I'm very fast cook too. I cook it like in about 20 minutes. You have a beautiful meal. So, um, so my diet is I do eat. Those are my proteins, my carbohydrates at oatmeal. Some people don't can eat oatmeal, but that's okay. Uh, I oatmeal agrees with me, doesn't affect me negatively. I have sweet potato, I have white potato, I have 
rice, and when I cook rice, like a three quarters of a cup of rice, and if I cook pasta, it will be one cup of pasta, and I measure it, so I'm not eating extra carbohydrate, because it's not the carbohydrates, it's the amount of carbohydrates that you're eating. If I eat in one meal a whole sweet potato, or a whole white potato, of course you're gonna add weight to your body. But I do measure my carbohydrates, like a quarter of a cup of rice, for uh, two to three ounces of sweet potato or white potato, one cup of pasta uncooked. I measure the pasta before I cook it, uncooked. So those, those are my carbohydrates. And then my fruits. I have bananas, I have peaches, I just got some peaches, I get, uh, pears, um, lemons, of course, lemons, or every day I eat a lemon. Uh, and any uh, uh, blueberries, blueberry, blueberries, yes. I like strawberries, I don't get, I like strawberries, but they, but the ones, they don't taste like a strawberry, they too process, so. Sandra Cook, my darling, how are you doing? Long time no seeing, Gabby, good morning, love you guys. Thank you so much. I don't take any supplements. I don't take any supplement. My supplements are what you just said. I take my vitamins through my example, vitamin C. My, my vitamin C every single day in my tea, I put a whole lemon with, with honey and that's my vitamin C. So my philosophy is that I eat my vitamins and my supplements, I eat it through my food. So I had, I had no problem with fruit. People say, oh, do you eat? In the beginning, that was another fam fantastic, fabulous common question. If I eat fruit, of course. How can you, mangoes? Oh my God, I have a mango tree. When mangoes are in, in season, I eat mango, two, three mangoes a day. <laughs> Any dessert? Uh, Sandra Cook, yes, when I compete, the night after my competition or the night I finish competing and I go out to eat and then I have flan, I have tres leche, whatever the, whatever the restaurant has, uh, that's what I will eat. The only cheat meal that I will cook, that you will think I have, is when, after my competition. Then I go out to eat and then I have a mojito, Chicken quesadilla, chip, guacamole, salsa, flan, tres leche. I come out of that like this. <laughs> but it's when I, and then I take my trophies to dinner with me. And my trophies go to dinner and the, the, the people in the restaurant, they look at the videos and they look at the, 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 the trophies. And, and I, it's super, it's amazing because well, I'm, I'm being starving for a week or two weeks, you know, because you really, you know, you, you really starving yourself before competition because you're just eating pot potato, 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 but two ounces of potato, two ounces of potato for a whole week, you know, by the end, by the time, of, by the time you get to dinner, I bring my trophies with me. And then I tell the, uh, the host of the, of the restaurant, oh, I haven't eaten for three weeks and I just finished competition and I won. Can I have a table? <laughs> and then immediately, immediately they sit us. They find a table because the restaurants at that time are packed, you know, it's like after eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. So the restaurants, the good restaurants are packed with people. So immediately they find a table for us and then the, and that, I, so it's, it's funny. It's really, I have some videos in, in my social media that about those things. You can see them. Good morning, Queen. Hola, good morning, Eileen. Oh, Eileen, my darling. What, good morning, good morning. Yeah, we're doing this beautiful. And I like doing these things just like this. I like, I like coming out when I, I'm excited. I want to share with you. Because sometimes when you plan things like, oh, now I have to do the blog, you know. But I think I, I, I like it better when I have a sense of urgency, excitement. I want to share this with you. I want So I uh, transfer to you all this motivation, all this energy, all this power, all the thought of possibility that you have the possibility to really every single day, because this is the message for today. The message for today is to keep on pushing. Don't give up. If you like something, if you're into something, really, do you eat bread? Yes. Uh, uh, bread, yeah, like I slice, one slice, once when I feel like it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, no for the next six weeks. 
because sometimes I do make a little sandwich, an egg sandwich. How am my a weekly training split? Okay, my week, okay. Yesterday was leg day, okay? Monday usual, Monday and Friday is leg day. And those two days I have a coach. I have my bodybuilding coach on Monday and my other coach on, on Saturday, Friday, which is more like squatting and things like that. But my Monday bodybuilding, okay, that one. So legs on Monday and Friday. Why legs twice? I try to work out every body part that I feel needs to get improvement. I feel legs have to be worked. For me, the legs are the hardest and it has to be worked out twice a week for me. The same thing I felt with my shoulders. I want a big shoulders. So I thought, you know, if I want a big shoulder, then I have to work my shoulders twice. And that's what I do. So today I supposed to do chest. Okay, but I'm doing you. Instead of doing chest, I'm doing you. <laughs> but why I'm doing you? Hi. Okay, man, that's true. Okay, let me see. You're better money. And I am a 49. My job, a uh, hard time making workouts. Job makes me work 12 hours a day. Okay, we talk about time. Time in a minute. Okay, time. Uh, so, we are going to finish with this about the, the workouts. Okay, so I want a big shoulder, so I do shoulders. Okay, so, to, so I was talking about chest. Today is chest day, but I didn't go to chest. Porque, why? The reason I didn't go that I did, I'm doing... Holy Spirit, I need you here. Please cut me down. Okay, I know. You know me. I get so freaking excited. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to work out with my coach. We're going to be doing shoulders, and we're going to smash the shoulders. He told me yesterday. We did a little two, two exercises of shoulders yesterday. After leg, we've been doing a little two exercises on shoulder legs. And yesterday was Arnold presses and ladder of races. So tomorrow I have him. He's going to blast my shoulders. Okay, so that's why I didn't, I felt like I can uh, play hooky today with my chest workout. So that will be tomorrow, Wednesday. Then Thursday, then I go and do my chest on Thursday on my own. I do chest. And then Friday, I have my leg workout again. And then Saturday, I will hit the exercises that I didn't hit with my coach yet tomorrow because tomorrow we're doing shoulders and back, and the exercises I didn't do with him tomorrow, then I will do it Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday, I add exercises that I didn't do, you know, like like uh, the T-bar, you know, when the, the T-bar that you get in, the, you lie down in the T-bar and you do this. That's a nice, awesome exercise. So my, in my, <coughs> in my, in my coach, and my two coaches don't have a machine. So I, in my club, just have my regular gym. They do have a machine. Okay, so that's how I, I split my workout. So my workouts are split based on the areas that I want to work out. And I do it twice a week. What about... Ah, you have to do... You have to... You, you, you know, don't think about losing fat. Think about building muscle. Change your thinking. If you're thinking about that, you, your question is, what workout can I do to reduce fat? No, what workout can I do to uh, to tone to make to tone my to get muscle tone? Because you're thinking, you know, there is there is a body mind connection. If you're thinking fat, you need to get my CD number one. You need to get my book number one. Um, you, you, you really want change, you got to act on it. You can you cannot just the little pill, okay? Because you keep taking the blue pill instead of the red pill. Get my book number one. Get my CD, The Mind is Designed for Success, and you find that CD and my website is going to cost you $10, okay? An investment to your health, to your future, to your vitality, your independence, Okay, uh, that's simple. So, because there is a mind body connection, you're not thinking building muscle and getting muscle tone. You're thinking about fat, how I reduce the fat. 
the, the more you think about reducing fat, the more fat your arms become. You have to change that. You have to visualize your arms beautiful. Visualize your arms the way you want it. As within, so without. You gotta see it. If you can see it in your mind's eyes, then it's done. You have to have the right picture. The mind is picture oriented. If I only picture that I will have in my mind and my my arms are flabby and fat, that's exactly what I'm gonna get. But if I start visualizing beautiful muscle, beautiful muscle tone, great definition, shredded. Awesome, beautiful. How do you think I got this way? Do you think I just got this way only by going to the gym? I visualized it. I saw myself. I had a coach and before my competitions and bodybuilding, I used to do a lot of spinning. I will go in my club, the spinning class. And I will, and the spinning coach, Christy, her name is Christy, beautiful, blonde, gorgeous Amazon. This woman was an Amazon. Everybody wanted to be in her class. So I always, and I was chunky. I was, one of my friends says to me one time, you're not fat, you're thick, which means I'm chunky. And I, I saw the, I, I will always look at Christy, the, the, the spinning club, the spinning coach, beautiful, gorgeous, the master definition, God, I mean, unbelievable. I will see her, I will watch her. I will go to her class and sit down in the front of the, the bike that was in front of her because I wanted to get from Christy that look. That, no, she's blonde, tall, that, but just, just the idea, the idea. And that's how I started. And then what happened is when you start visualizing, when you start seeing yourself, when you start accepting, when you start assimilating as a concept, of the new you, then immediately you worry your the life, all the resources will come your way when you start visualizing. It's a whole that's why it's not just one thing. So you have to, you have to, you have to, you can't, oh, how do I get these abdominals? How do I get, it's a process, it's it's work mental, physical, spiritual, because sometimes you know you're not gonna have the strength from your physical body because your body wants to rest or your body doesn't want to get up or your mind doesn't want to do things. And what's going to push you into doing the thing that you're supposed to do is your spirit, your, your spiritual muscle. And we have deficiency. We have we are anemic when it comes to the strength of your spirit. So you start. you have to start changing your thinking about yourself and about your arms. Start visualizing what you want instead of expressing what you don't want. I said, pow, you say, wow, pow. <laughs> okay, and the question here said, Ma MX, this cannot, I, I, have, I am 49, my job is demanding, I have hard time making workouts. Okay, number one, this, this, look at the way you're talking, I have hard time making workout. When you said to the subconscious mind, I have hard time making workout, it's done. You're gonna keep having hard time making workouts. Can you see it? If I continuously, repeatedly tell myself, I have hard times making workouts, the way the mind work is you imprinted that information at a subconscious level and the subconscious level doesn't distinguish between something that is real and something that is you imagine. So the, the subconscious mind, they, I have a hard time making work out as a fact. And the subconscious mind wants to keep your sanity and because it wants to keep your sanity so you don't become crazy, it, what happens is you always have a hard time making work out because the subconscious mind cannot have two conflicting parts. It's called cognitive dissonance. You cannot have two conflicting thoughts. You either make your work out or you have a hard time making your work out. In your case, it's the same thing. You have to visualize, you start saying to yourself, I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money to achieve everything I want. Go to my website, 
drjosefina.com and then download the CD for affirmations and the mind is designed for success. Those two CDs, $20, 10, 10, and get a box. And then what happens is when you tell yourself, I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money to achieve all my desires. I have enough time. And then what happens, you are start creating, you start cultivating this idea, this possibility that I have enough time. It's called quantum thinking. The possibility that you are going to collapse is the possibility you focus in your energy. If you focus in your energy and I don't have time to make my workout, that's the reality you collapsing, my darling. That's the reality you collapsing. And that, that is quantum thinking. It's science tell you that. God tells you that. God says a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. So this information comes from the spiritual point of view, from the, from, the, from the physical point of view, from the quantum thinking point of view, the psychological point of view, any way you look at it. It's just amazing. So you make that up. You, if you don't have, if you, me, when, I, when I was raising my children, my, my two daughters, okay, I have a full-time job. I was a busy man, a woman. I, <laughs> I was a busy woman. I have, I mean, full-time job. I mean, totally. And my, my goal was to, to do yoga. I could not do yoga because I couldn't put my yoga. The only thing I could do was run. At that time, I was a runner. Not a runner, runner profession, just go out and run because if I didn't run, I go nuts. I, I needed to, you know, to, to go out and run. And I will run in the winter in, in Massachusetts and people from no, up north knows how amazing those, those winters in New England are. So I will do, I will make, I get up early in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I will go four o'clock in the morning running. So you, you, I started visualizing myself doing yoga. I wanted to do yoga because those dreams, those possibility, the, the problem is that instead of keeping pushing, we give, we give up. So if you want to have time to work out, visualize yourself. Because what, what happens is when you tell your subconscious mind, I want to exercise. When you tell your subconscious mind this affirmation, this affirmation, I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money to achieve everything I want. I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money to achieve everything I want. The subconscious, once, we, once the subconscious mind accept this idea, is the subconscious mind starts working on it. You need to get my CDs. The more I talk about this, the more you need this information. Okay, where do you get your, the books, you can get my books, Alex, the books, you can get it in Amazon, or you can go to my website, and if you go here in Instagram, you have a link, to my uh, Amazon, you have the link to my website where you can get the CDs and the link for the books. So you can either go to Amazon or you can go to my perf my profile here on Instagram and get the link. So Amazon and my website. Hello, California, great topic today, really, really. Oh, Alex, awesome. What book do you recommend to learn about quantum thinking? Oh, yeah, I have few books in quantum thinking. I, there is one that I, I read and it's, just, it's like my book of reference. It's, quantum, it's called Quantum Theology. Get, up, get the name. I don't want to get up and find it, but it's Quantum Theology. I have to look at my books. Called Quantum Theology. Quantum Theology. It's amazing. But it's a book... Oh, man, that you have to read one page, really, really one page at a time because it's so amazingly blowing, mind, blo mind blower. Because when you read it, you have to, you know, reflect a minute. Yeah, my my favorite one is the Tao, or another one is very good, is the Tao of Physics. The Tao, T-A-O, Tao of Physics. It's about what? I have those books. 
Well, so those are my reference books. Those are books from the beginning. Those are no books that somebody's, that, these are the people who really did the world of research. It's not like somebody spinning from the book, getting read, spinning from those books. You know what I mean? Like you can get the Bible and you can go spin in the book, in the Bible, you know, but I wanna I don't wanna read you spinning from the Bible. I wanna read the Bible myself. So that's how I do. I am my worst enemy when it comes to go to the gym. I go around and around and to excuse it. Alice, okay, Alice and my my yeah, you are your worst enemy because you, okay. Number one, why do you wanna go to the gym? Why? Why? You have to find a pay value to you. You don't mean that. As human beings, we don't do things because we, we are so altruistic. You know what I mean? No. We have to find the pay value. Why do I, what is the pay value for me? Just take, take one area, going to the gym. Why? Because I have more energy. I have my health. I have my mobility. I have my physical independence. I have emotional balance. My skin looks amazing. I have energy. So I look at all the benefits that I get from the gym and I get up and go. If you don't see a pay value in the things that you do, you're not gonna do it. Stop complaining, criticizing and condemning yourself that you don't do this and you don't do that. You don't do it, not because you are a bad person. It's not your thing. So you have to find in life the things that are for you. It's like I told you the story about Kung Fu. My, my boyfriend, my husband, the lady, my husband, when I started, started dating him, I, he, he's into martial arts. He was into martial arts, competing in martial arts. Then, because he was a martial art, I needed to go to martial art too. What happened? I lasted no more than two weeks. And you know why I don't last more than two weeks in, in doing Kung Fu? Because it's not my thing. I hated it. I wasn't doing it because I wanted to, to be a martial art. I wanted to be like Bruce Lee. At that time, people were, you know, the, the great person was Bruce Lee. And then people wanted to be like Bruce Lee. But, but it wasn't me. So I, I went... I went because today is in English. Hoy es en español. Hoy es en inglés. I did Spanish yesterday. Yo hice el español ayer. Búscalo en mi canal de YouTube. Uh, and those, the, so that wasn't for me. So you know why? You recognize this is not my thing. I hate Kung Fu. I don't like Kung Fu. I don't like martial art. Pow, pow, wow. So my point with all this is, with this vignette, is find the thing that you like to do. Do the sport that you want to do. There is... Everybody, everybody comes into this world with a design. The way I am designed is not the same way that you and you and you are designed. So we have to act. It's like you get the, the, the you buy a car or you buy a washing machine or, or a, a microwave. What happened? You read the direction, you know? Oh, this is the way it works. But the, the washing machine doesn't have the same direction that your car has. You know what I mean? So we try always to be to be and to do and to have just like everybody else. So the reason you don't find it good for you that you have to be struggling because let me tell you one thing, if you're struggling, if you have to push yourself, this is not your thing. You didn't come to this world to suffer. That mentality of suffering and doing things because everybody else is doing it, stop, stop. Think about you. What are the things that you like? What do you want to do? And you will find activity, physical activity that are congruent with, with your biology, with your body structure. Remember that we have different bodies, the type of form, mesomorphic, endomorphic. Remember that when we went to school? So we all differ. So stop the nightmare. Stop the insanity. You out of your mind. <laughs> All her products on her website. Coconut, yes, gracias, Edith. All my, everything that I use, or some of them, and if, if I have to add more, we will add more. Hermosa, desde Puerto Rico, mi cielo, Ashley. Ashley, uh, 
Ah, uh, so how are we doing? Okay, wow, 11.20, we better get out, get out. I think this was amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today. We've been talking for 59 minutes. Remember my YouTube channel, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video so we can keep moving and growing. I wanna grow, I, I wanna grow along with you. Uh, we start, uh, let me tell you what, what happened yesterday and my, I'm gonna finish with this to see if you're interested. And I'm so happy I got deleted. <laughs> Somebody said to me, I'm so glad I got deleted. I don't know. Well, anyway. Okay, so question, what do you use for skincare? Amazing. Yes, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Eddie told Patty where my products are. My I will do my workout. I do have time. Yes, yes. I enjoy. I work out every single day. I, I, my affirmation is I train. I exercise and I train every day for vitality and balance. Also, if you don't have money to buy my CD, go to my YouTube channel and look for all my affirmations. I have more than 10 years of affirmation in my YouTube channel. And one of the affirmations is I exercise and I train every day for vitality and balance. See, I exercise. And I train every day for vitality and balance. I guess I feel crazy because it's keeping workout. Yeah. So you keep if you you feel like right now you the circumstances around you. If you don't have time because the work hours and everything. Yes, you have because you're gonna change the reality. And the way you change the reality. If I thank you so much. The way you change reality is by saying, I exercise and I train every day for vitality and balance. I exercise and I train every day for vitality and balance. In still, immediately, the universe starts working along with you because now you are connecting with the energy, the power that you want to exercise and train every day because you want vitality and balance. Joins with you and then you collapse the reality. That's collapsing the reality and quantum thinking when they talk about collapsing, it's making it happen. You collapse that reality. But you got to be faithful. You have to have faith. You have to have trust. You have to have determination. You have to have clarity. You have to be determined. to do. You have to keep on pushing, baby. Keep on pushing, baby. And the pushing is the success. I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money. Yes, I have enough time, energy, wisdom, and money. You look beautiful, that color spray on you. Thank you so much. Yes, I like, I, yeah, I like, I like this color spray. I love it. Thank you so much. Energy, wisdom, money. Yes, I have great affirmations and money. Okay, I think uh, ah, this has been an amazing. I mean, you look, thank you so much. Raisa, hola, good, mo good, good morning. I'm getting your notification. I am not getting my notification. Wow, I don't know why, mommy, I don't know. Quantum Theology, yes. Quantum Theology is an amazing book, amazing. I mean, if you start, uh, we just, listen, if you want to make a leap, a quantum leap, I have another book called Quantum Leap. I had that one to quantum leap. Um, start working in your spirit. If you want to start making quantum leaps, start working in your spirit. And we can talk about that one. One of those days, if you're interested, the Tao of Physics, F T A, the Tao, T A O, T A O, Tao. The Tao of Physics. Can somebody write it to me so I can make sure? What do you eat in a day? No. Chicken, 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 broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, asparagus. What do you eat? Get it. Get book number two. What do I eat? We talk about that. It's a, uh, yeah. Get in this book. It's everything like that. So it, can somebody write down? I want to see if you, we got that. Great. The Tao of Physics, do you have to cover the book? And the, and those? 
Do you have the cover of this book on the book? Yes. Oh yeah, this yeah, in this book, this covers. Yes, this is book number two. This is book number one. Yes, the same cover. This is book number three. I'm gonna go in order for uh, book number three here. The same cover. Book number four and book number five. Okay. So, see, I'm put it like that. So, okay. anyway, yes, the same cover. Yes. You're welcome, my darling. Thank you for thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Ah. So making sure that you get notification when I go live because we're gonna keep it that way. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come when the spirit calls to come. And so you'll be ready. You know, let's do this. Let's always be ready. Don't who wants to make the commitment today that you're gonna become the type of person that you always ready. That you don't have to walk to work. No, you don't have to wait for the opportunity to come and then you tell the opportunity, wait, I have to get ready. You want that when the opportunity knocks at your door, you said, come in, I'm here. Welcome to my world. What is your meal routine when you don't eat, have a competition? Well, they're not normal. I don't, I don't have, a, you know, I don't have, oh, this is, you, I don't know how to explain that because I'm, very, I'm a person that are no complications for me. You know, you don't have like a, oh, this is my routine. Number one, you know, I don't have routines. I have rituals. And this probably why I, it's hard for me to answer those questions because I don't have routines. So routine for me, I don't do routines. I do rituals. My rituals every single day is my breakfast. And I'm just going to tell you one day, my, bref, my ritual for my breakfast is oatmeal. Most people can't have oatmeal, but I don't have any many medical issues. If you have medical issues, you don't need oatmeal, blah, blah, blah. Then for my, before I go to the gym, sometimes I feel my body craves meat. Then I cook maybe two ounces of steak. Uh, and that is when my body craves that and feel before my workout. And usually I have a piece of fruit before I work out. I take it with me, I eat it in my car. Today, I didn't work out, but usually it's a pear, a peach, whatever I have, a, a piece of fruit, because I feel it's quick energy, and by the time I get to the gym, plus my espresso, so I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm great. Then I come to, I come home, I already cook my meal, my, my lunch, get a chicken, my favorite meat, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, tomatoes, onions, I mix all that, and some, uh, yesterday I put two, 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 two tablespoons of rice. The day before, I used uh, one cup of pasta. So it depends. I mean, but I don't, I don't have like a specific diet that I don't eat this and I don't eat that. What I don't eat is junk, okay? But it, fruits, I eat fruits. Meat, I eat my meat. The only meat that I don't have, like, I don't. I don't crave uh, fish because it just doesn't do anything for me. But I like fish, but it's just like I'm hungry after I eat fish. Miami! Maria, is good not to use anything to grow muscle, Josefina? Well, you, I don't, uh, see, Maria, if you're talking about supplements, I, for some people, probably works, but not for me. So you, I grow my muscles with my workout, with my workout, my protein. I make sure that I take my eggs with me. I finish my, pro, my workout. Immediately I get in my car and I'm eating my eggs, which is one. And lately I've been using two whole eggs plus one cup of egg whites. So immediately I eat a protein because I, my body sucks it up. And if, uh, by the time I get home, 10 minutes later, I'm hungry. So I or usually have my meal ready so I know what I'm eating, which is what I prepare before I left. You know, I start cooking like about 
8.30 in the morning for my lunch. So I don't, I keep it simple. I don't say, oh, I don't, I can't have a banana. Oh, I can't have a mango. I don't do that. I have bananas, I have mango, I have minimum three fruits every single day. So that's my vitamins, my uh, antioxidants, my some mineral, my potassium from my banana every single, every single day I have one or two bananas. So I keep it simple. I don't go into this diet, you can eat that and you cannot have that. That's for people who have medical issues. And because I don't have any medical issue, I am I'm very healthy. I can eat my stuff that is God created. Everything that ha God has created, I have. I drink milk. I have honey. I don't have anything against eggs. I don't have anything against milk. I don't have anything against cheese. I don't eat it because I don't want to. But it's not because, oh, you, I don't buy that stuff. I don't get into the mindset that you have to take this food. How can you be healthy? How can you be healthy when you're not having a balanced diet? Let me tell you one thing. My opinion is you're not having fruits. If you don't have the real thing, how can you have a balanced diet? Balance, balanced diet. Let me calm down. you out of your mind. When you are not eating fruits, and you're not eating carbohydrates, and you're not eating this because it's bad for you. I mean, if it is bad for you, it's bad for you. But I just can't get in the mindset that a banana is, is bad for you, mango is bad for you, for you, fruits are bad for you. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? The way to be healthy is to have a balanced diet. And a balanced diet is all the things that come from nature. Remember, do you remember the, the animal, the reino animal, vegetal, and mineral? There were three, three things. Mineral, I can't, I can't remember in English right now. What do you advise I want to gain weight for muscle and I'm lactose tolerance? Okay, lactose, and listen, you said it. Lactose tolerance. See, you have a condition, right? You, you don't tolerate that. It's like my body don't tolerate protein drinks, you know? So you don't do it. You don't take that. So your muscle, you, you, but your muscles are based on protein. So increase your amount of protein. You probably need to eat more. And this is another thing that you have, in order to increase your muscle mass, you have to eat more. You cannot be dieting and thinking you're going to build muscle. Muscles are bi built from protein. So you need to increase your protein. You need to increase your carbohydrates to increase your muscle mass. You need to have a coach, somebody who's guiding you. You need to take the test, the in-body test. Remember, I, I have it in my in my social media. You can, I don't know if I have anything else. I think the last one, I, I don't know. Let's see if I can show you an in-body test. If I have an in-body test here. I think I threw them away because I'm starting. Oh, here. So you need to, this book, this test. You know, this test, this is a great thing because this test is an in-body, it's called in-body. You can, you, you find it in your gym. If you don't have it in your gym, go to Google it in your area. Where do you find this test? Where can you take this test? And this what happened. It's going to tell you your muscle mass, how you're increasing your muscle mass or you're losing your muscle mass. And this is what I love. I'm supposed to do one today, but I needed to go for my haircut and I don't like rushing places. I don't like trying to, to do too many things. Yeah, I, I'm out of that stuff. Uh, um, multitasking, I don't multitask anymore. So the point is with this test, because this test is going to tell you your weight and your muscle mass. So in this here, you can see here, my muscle mass went up right here. See, they go up, my muscle mass went up. So that's what you want. So you, when you do this test, test like this or like this, you don't have to be this way, but something that is measuring your, your muscle mass. So you need to have scientific ways, you know, like a test. Okay, this test are here, my muscle mass went from 58.8, here, 58.8 to 59.6, okay? This is muscle mass. Take a look. Take a look. You can make a copy of that. You can make a copy of that. So you see, I'm not lying to you. 
you know, not that I would lie to you, but some people are skeptical, you know, the, some people are like a hombre de poca fe. It's like, what was the guy, the, the, uh, the guy who he needed to see to believe it? Some people have to see to believe it. So yeah, I have the proof. And this is the thing with me, I have the proof. So that's, you have to, when we're talking about this, I'm gonna close with this. When you're talking about muscle mass, you gotta be very practical. You have to have something that measures your body fat, okay? Uh, I have another test that my other coach does, but I, this is my favorite one, okay? This is my favorite one. Because it's, it's, just, it's just very, very accurate. I mean, it's amazing. I love this test. So the way you find this, you, you can Google it in your area. My clients will Google it in their area, and this happened at a, a, a supermarket or the pharmacy or someplace. They have this test. And you can go, and you could, they're probably they're going to charge you for it. It's, usually in your gym, it's, it's free. So he says, hi, Josefina, so nice to see you this time. Yes, it's amazing. We can probably move this uh, depending. We'll see. I'm not going to commit myself because I'm competing in six weeks and my life is going to be changing in the next, the following few weeks are going to change. What a good muscle man. Yes, it's amazing. And remember, remember, look at, you can, so you can really make it sure, you know, that I'm, it's real. And look at the, the time, here at the day of the test. What happened is, what do they tell you? After 40, you don't increase muscle mass. They tell you after 40, you don't increase your muscle mass. Bologna. Oh, make the commitment. Okay, the commitment to be the best person that you can be every single day, right? That's a lie. Yes, absolutely. For me, for me, it's a lie because I had a test and I asked my coach. I said to my coach last year, I said, okay, Steve, because he sees it. I mean, he, this is in his gym. My, two of my gym have the same machine. Um, I said, but why did they say that after 40, you cannot increase your mass or mass? And you know what he told me? That when they came out with that concept, it's an old concept. When they came out with that concept, they were evaluating people that didn't work out. People that didn't work out. That's how they based that uh, um, hearsay. Hilda, okay? So it because when they did, and the same thing happened when people that had diabetes and had this and had that, it, it, they always use values of people who are sick people. You know, you cannot compare my blood type, my blood my blood test with somebody who's sick. You can't compare myself with somebody who is poorly, you know? So those, those, those value when they say, oh, you, your cholesterol has to be this and that. But who, who that comparison is based on what? That comparison is in people that are sick and they're using it for you. So that's what I don't, I take care of my health. I invest in my health, invest instead of wasting my time in sickness. Thank you, Bia. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? But it is it, it takes body, mind, and spirit. You, you know, I I'm working out and I'm concentrating in my leg. When I'm doing leg press, I'm putting my lap, my, my hands, I'm feeling the muscle, feeling the contraction, feeling the expansion feeling the contraction, you know? It's just that, this, this, this beautiful dance between your body, your mind, and your spirit, and that connection, that communication between your muscle, feeling the, the pressure, the force, the, the, the oh, it's just it's poetic. It's just kind of, it's, to me, it's poetic. It's nothing like workout. Yeah, natural all the way, all the way to the Olympics. So, natural, all the way to the Olympics. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But let, let's see what happened. All the way to the Olympics. Are we having fun or what? What are you 
fat, my body fat, and this test, my body fat, because it tells you body fat too. Okay, um, uh, PBS, percentage of body fat, percentage of body fat is 17.7. .7. Went, oh, it went up a little bit because it was 17.2. So right here, based on this last test, here where my finger is, is body fat. Where my finger is, is body fat. Okay, so it's supposed to be normal is 22.9. Oh, okay, so I'm great. <laughs> that makes me feel better because the normal for body fat normal is 22.9. Here with my, let me point with this is better. 22.9. Okay, this is supposed to be normal. 22.9. ¿Qué es eso? No come la amarilla. ¿Qué es amarilla? No, I don't, no entiendo. I don't understand. I want to do it. So the body fat, my body fat, sometimes it goes down to 16.8. Right now it's 17.7. But the normal is supposed to be 22.9, which makes me feel great because I'm, I'm low, low, low fat. Do you eat yogurt or dairy? Dairy, yes. Yogurt. No, no, I'm not crazy about yogurt, but I drink milk. At night, I have a little bit of milk, and not a glass, I mean a little bit of milk with honey, something like that. If I'm hungry, like I'm going to bed, and I'm and my stomach is a little bit hungry, then a little bit of milk with, with honey, and it calms me down. Or a banana, I eat it before I go to sleep sometimes, if I feel like I need something because I, I want to sleep soundly. So those are my things. Yes, the Olympics. So... I want to do it, yes. Okay, I think we are having fun. I'm looking for... Okay, one hour and 21 minutes. Okay, we're gonna go. I want to do it, yes. I'm gonna stay a little bit longer and Alex, Alex, you are also in, in YouTube, right? Missy Alex, that's also in YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna stay a little bit, few minutes more uh, in Instagram, Three Kingdoms, the Three Kingdoms. Yes, the Three Kingdoms, yes, yes. Kingdom animal, vegetal, y mineral. Animal, vegetal, y mineral. Remember the Three Kingdoms? The Three Kingdoms, remember the Three Kingdoms? Are we supposed to eat the Three Kingdoms? And we're not, we, we, we went crazy. We started going crazy, thinking that the Three Kingdoms were bad for us. You know what bad for us? The kingdom of the world. The stupidity. They telling you, telling you that you cannot eat. But you know why? I'm not gonna. Go. You know why they tell you that? You know why? You know why? You smart. You know. You know. You smart. By thinking about it, you know why? That's why I don't buy into the world. I don't buy into what the world says. I go by God's word and what God says. If God says, I'm going to take you to the land of milk and honey, I will be stupid. I will be out of my mind for me to think that milk and honey is bad for me. And God says, I'm taking you to the land of milk and honey. It's just common sense. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Chris, hola, good last, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, I think it's time to go and see you soon. See you next week. I said pow, you said wow. Okay, me too. I gotta go. Okay, let's go. And then here in my beautiful YouTube. Love you guys. See you soon. And beautiful.